Hi everybody and welcome to this video which covers behaviour modification and operant conditioning as part of the psychology of learning topic for stage 2 psychology. Let's get started. So behaviour modification is a set of therapies or techniques based on operant conditioning theory. It's the process of changing or modifying behaviours over the long term using various motivational techniques and reinforcement strategies, which can include either positive or negative reinforcement. The aim is to replace inappropriate or problem behaviours with more positive, desirable ones. So it's important to remember that behaviour modification never involves punishment, as it's known that the reinforcement is much more likely to influence long-term behaviour, as I've talked about in my previous videos. So behaviour modification involves a series of steps. Step one is to monitor the amount of time currently doing the activity to create a baseline for how problematic the behaviour currently is. It's important to note at this point that behaviour modification can be applied to the self or it can be applied to another person. Step two is to negotiate a realistic goal to work towards with the person. Step three is to discuss and agree upon a reinforcement schedule with a set of rules for when the person can be rewarded. Step four is to start the behaviour modification program and reward small improvements in the desired behaviour, in other words, the process of shaping. Step five is to gradually remove the reward to determine whether the behaviour has improved. An alternative or additional strategy is to change the environment or condition that is currently reinforcing the undesirable behaviour, such as distractions, games and friends. So here's an example of motivating someone or using behaviour modification to continue the desired behaviour of studying more. So you can use behaviour modification program on yourself, like I said before. So step one is to establish how much time you are spending studying now. Perhaps it's half an hour per night. And you want to increase that to two hours per night. So set a goal for how much you would like to study. So two hours per night and four hours on Sunday. Make sure that your study desk is in discrimination stimulus mode. So in other words, by doing only homework at this desk, this will allow us to make sure that we subconsciously only do homework with that desk and associate homework with that space only. We then shape the response of studying at the desk by rewarding successive steps. So reward yourself for sitting there for short periods of time. Use rewards that are meaningful. So, for example, watching TV for half an hour, calling your friend, or eating a piece of chocolate, whatever is meaningful to you. Make your successful study periods longer and longer before reinforcing. So, for example, if the goal is two hours of homework per night, you might reinforce yourself with chocolate after every half an hour of study completed. You may then extend that to after every hour, and then one chocolate after the full two hours have been completed. Eventually, the goal is to remove all of the rewards and monitor the overall improvement. So can you now study for two hours without getting distracted? The last step should be to remove other stimuli that you find rewarding, like Facebook or TV or other forms of distractions. This will also help. Like I said before, it's good to also modify the environment so you don't have other distractors. So it may mean making your study area desirable and relaxing, but removing any other distractors as I've said listed here. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, happy revising.